in the White House. He was President Clinton's chief speech writer and now runs the Brennan Center for Justice at NYU Law. And Michael, I want to pick up sort of where Luke was waving off there. He said the Republican caucus is today. <laughs> and in fact, you had Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn today. So talking about First, crazy, the impact of the government shutdown. Let's, let's hear from her. Uh, a partial shutdown for several days. But Steve, people are probably going to realize they can live with a lot less government than what they You can take that ticker, dog. Republicans are kind of happy about the shutdown right now. I spoke to one member of Congress who represents the districts of a lot of federal government employees. Uh, he, he and his office were not hearing a lot from con constituents. So where is the pressure going to come from that will actually force a deal here? It's a great question, and you know, uh, Mark Twain said, history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. You see a lot of the themes and a lot of the self-delusion in this Republican rump that you saw in the House Republicans back in 1995 and 1996. They were sure then uh, that government was so unpopular that the public would cheer the idea that it was shut down. I don't think they're quite as... Uh, ex as expecting that as they are thinking that the, the political market has almost um, priced their craziness into it. And we're very used to the function of government. We're used to the hyper get a room. And so they think they can sort of live with the, live with the cost. I think that it's not so much the Tea Party <laughs> hopefuls and faithful, but those uh, conservative but less doctrinaire. 